Hi everybody! So today I'm going to chat about what I'll be taking in my luggage for my clothes for my upcoming trip to Europe. I'll be going uh, visiting Amsterdam as well as going on a river cruise from Paris to Normandy on the Seine. Lots of people are a little bit unsure about what to take and, and what the dress code is. So I thought I'd give a little bit of a fashion show to show off what I'll be wearing uh, and what I'll be bringing on my river cruise. So let's take a look. Now, please, patience, I am not a model. This is the first time I've done this. Uh, so yeah, just be kind, be kind. First outfit I'm gonna show you, this is what I'll be wearing on the airplane. So we've got the brown linen top, black slacks, uh, black walking sandals, as well as my trench coat. So neutrals are the name of the game. This is likely what I will be wearing uh, after I get off the plane. So I do want to change my top while I'm on the airplane. So when I arrive in Amsterdam, this is what I'll have on. I'd also really like to switch into those black rubber boots. This is another great outfit for if it's rainy and cool. You know, I've got the hood up on the trench coat. I've got my rubber black rubber boots on. And then underneath, I've got a plain black t-shirt v-neck with a nice silky scarf here very neutral i mean come on alicia smile there we go there's the smile uh next this is also another great outfit if it is rainy and you want to wear that trench coat so we've got a blue silky shirt plus my black blazer on so this is a little bit warmer uh but it also you know goes from daytime to nighttime you can kind of it's a little bit uh, dress up and uh, untuck the shirt it's got a totally different look this outfit, now I do love this top, this striped top. It's a knit, uh, so it's a little bit warmer. With the blazer, it looks fantastic. Got these pale uh, high-rise jeans on and the nice white runners. So those white runners, they'll be fantastic for walking around Europe, you know, going on these different tours. This white collared shirt, of course, you can do so much with collared shirts. They're a staple. You should have one in your closet. Uh, roll up those cuffs, you know, give it a totally different look. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Uh, I will likely only be bringing that one black belt. Oh, yeah. And you can, you know, dress it up with uh, another silky different scarf. This one, I've got a different top on. It's just a tank top, white ribbed tank top. But I've got those black slacks on. So you can really dress that up. Uh, it's nice. It'll be perfect for on the ship for going for supper. And then finally, I've got this nice casual linen brown dress. This you can dress up. It's still casual enough. You could go walking around Paris in and, you know, still have enough to wear. These are the outfits that I do plan on bringing. I'm debating bringing maybe one or more smaller tops just to kind of dress it up. But that gives you an idea of the level of dress up or dress down. It is quite casual on board. You know, maybe another nice tank top or a button silky shirt. Uh, that might be all that I'm bringing. All of these can practically go, every top can go with every bottom uh, for the most part. Adding on that blazer changes the look quite a bit, dresses it up, but it's still casual enough that you can still go out. These are the outfits that I plan on bringing. They fold up really nicely, so it's not taking up a lot of room. And you know what? Really, on the ship, there is laundry service, and I do plan on using it the first couple days. Uh, things can get so wrinkly when you're traveling. Rolling is my you know, tip for packing. You can usually get a lot in by rolling. However, sometimes you can get some wrinkles. So on the ship, the first day or so I plan on doing the laundry service is, is at an upcharge on Avalon. Uh, but, you know, it, it'll just refresh your wardrobe. I'm away for two weeks. Uh, this would certainly do, but I'll be reusing a lot of those outfits and a lot of those different pieces. So I do want to have them fresh. That's it. That's the outfits that I plan on taking to Europe. I hope you found this informative. I uh, certainly uh, put a comment below. What was your favorite outfit? I'd love to hear. This is Alicia with Evening Star Travel. You guys have a great day.